Hello everyone, welcome back to Nottingham Forest and as you can see from the uh, the next three games that we have to play, we have entered the hellscape. Uh, we've got Manchester United, then Tottenham and then Arsenal. Uh, at least one of those games is at home, uh, but uh, I really don't think we're going to get many points out of these games. We're in 10th position as you can see from the league table on the right hand side there. Uh, we went over this at the end of the last episode, but we are we are well off of uh, anywhere near top six. And uh, to be honest, in our first season back in the Premier League, that was never realistic, was it? So uh, looking at the bottom of the table, however, you can see we've got a seven point lead over Watford. And uh, that is the important gap to keep in mind. It's the race to 40 points. And uh, I really don't think that there will be any points to be got out of the next three matches. Having said that, some of our best performances have actually come against the best teams in the league. So I guess never say never. Let's have a look at who's going to be playing for us today. And uh, Kabai is not in very good form at all, is he? I'm tempted to bring Harry Arter back into the side. I know I've been uh, playing around with uh, to paying attention and not paying attention with form. To be honest, I'm willing to try anything at the moment because we're not playing brilliantly. So Harry Arter comes into the side for Kabayi. Kabayi will sit on the bench if we need to. We can always bring him into the team. And uh, that's pretty much going to be the only change that we're going to have to make here. Everyone else is OK. I think for the Tottenham match, we might have to rest one of the two centre-backs. And then again, against Arsenal, we may have to rest one of the two centre-backs as well. Samba starting to lose a little bit of stamina. But Daniel Fazato, sorry, pardon me, Gesundheit, um, he's in terrible form. And... Um, I don't know. Like we, we've got okay performances out of goalkeepers that are out of form, but Samba's in form. Let's use him. Right. So into the game. Reds versus Blues. It's at the uh, the Theatre of Dreams, or for us, it may well be the Theatre of Nightmares, but it's at Old Trafford, and uh, we're going to see what we can do today. We need a really tight performance at the back vital that we don't concede obviously because going forward we are not at all potent but you'd expect that from a team that have uh, been promoted to the uh, to the Premier League for the first time in many many years teams come walking out of that famous corner tunnel that Old Trafford boasts fans applauding them onto the pitch some officials wandering the touchline getting a free game the lucky bastards and here we go, Edinson Cavani kicks off for United. A back four that includes Benkovic and apparently Machia. So that'll be interesting to keep an eye on. As McTominay picks up the ball in the centre of the park, sprays it out to Alex Telles. It's a little bit too hard and it goes out of play for a throw into Nottingham Forest. First touch of the ball for the, the tricky trees then as uh, Zifweek plays it in for Worrell, who Runs it across to the centre-back partner, McKenna. And then all the way over to Yuri Ribeiro. He's trying to stretch the play down this left-hand side. Oh, Centurion, lovely touch on the ball there from the... Uh, I, I forgot what nationality is. Is he uh, Argentinian? I cannot remember. Oh, no, he's just been bundled off the ball. Unfortunate. But McKenna does really well, actually, to try and get back at the ball. And uh, that's a free kick given away by Worrell. No real arguments, to be honest. I think he collected more of the player than he did the ball. You can just see there, he just clips his foot. So it's a free kick in a, uh, a not-so-dangerous area. Centre of the pitch. Fernandez to take. He'll float one to the edge of the area. Cavani comes short, picks it up. Tomine into Rashford. And the defence does its job. Oh, lovely. Very nice from Guerrero. A little bit too long for Lolly, unfortunately. And uh, Jesse Lingard, unopposed, heads it to a teammate in the centre of the pitch. Ryan Bissaka, dangerous down this right-hand side. Lingard. But 
first and foremost, I need to concentrate on keeping the ball. Here's Ribeiro. Into Arcas. Who sees the three, three on the right-hand side, plays him in. Now Joe Lolly. Guerrero can't get to the ball in time and it's played out to Rashford who does a good job of uh, keeping hold of the ball in spite of the challenge and that's a lovely one too to Cavani in space on the wing gets it into the middle Ribeiro underneath gets ahead to it and Centurion is the only man anywhere near it so he'll pick it up and uh, bring play down this left hand side nobody on him at all oh dear oh dear that's terrible from <laughs> oh my goodness me one man in front of you and you run it straight into him I'm talking to myself more than I am him right Centurion again nobody near him Guerrero for goodness sake all he had to do was hold the man away from him and he couldn't even do that we've given the ball away and now a free kick in the centre of the area sorry centre of the pitch not the area goodness me imagine giving away a free kick for Man United in the middle of your penalty area Bruno Fernandes on free kicks again. It seems like he's on free kicks all over the pitch for United. Mathieu into Pogba. First we've seen of Pogba today. Rashford. Out to McTominay on this left-hand side. Ariata doubling up with uh, Zafuik to keep the right-hand side safe. It's played into Fernandes. And now here's Centurion. to Lolly. Oh, the ball's just too heavy. It was a simple ball to play and he's fucked it completely. And then between... Oh my goodness me, that's a goal. I'm not going to say anything because you all know what I'm thinking. Watch the two defenders. I had no control over any of that. Never mind. So, Nottingham Forest 1-0 down. It's yet to have their first chance of the match, actually. And it looks like we won't have a chance in this half. Ten minutes to go. Oh, my goodness me. We're just slow to everything. Oh, what is that? Just angry at myself now. So Pogba, middle of the pitch, into Rashford, who's playing very deep for a centre forward. Out to Alex Telles. Back to Rashford. Arcas. Oh, come on. Every time we win the ball, it's a foul. Okay, never mind. Looks dominate. Into Cavani. And Centurion for some reason puts it out. I didn't tell him to do that at all. Ridiculous. Never mind. So Wampazaka with the throw in to Paul Popper. Oh, Rashford, plenty of space and the easy tap in. Goalkeeper just had to turn it around the post, but instead he punched it right back out to where it came from. And Marcus Rashford, as you would expect, has doubled his tally and his team's lead. Frontline pressure actually suits us when we have more men further up the pitch, as long as we lose possession in those areas. So we'll try that, see what happens.
over the top for Guerrero. He's onside here. Oh, it's a terrible first touch. Although, to be fair to him, it's a floated ball over his shoulder. He'd be doing very well to take it down and get the shot off. And at half-time here at the Theatre of Nightmares, it's Manchester United 2, Nottingham Forest 0, and a much better second half is required from Nottingham Forest. Might be realistic, but it's not much fun. Right, Busquets starts off for Nottingham Forest, plays it out to Zafuig, into Harry Arter. A nice one two between the left back and left attacking midfielder and the ball goes out of play for a corner to Nottingham Forest which will be taken by the left back Yuri Ribeiro out swinger goalkeeper comes out for it punches wildly oh my goodness me Not even going to watch the replay. Lolly, he's got the legs on Matchett. He's away. And then he's tackled. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear. too ponderous on everything he needs three touches before he can play a ball oh my goodness me what is this passing is it not enough of an advantage that you have a World Cup winner on the pitch but you need to play around with my passing so that I can't hit a single pass? Oh my goodness. Lingard, Rashford, 3-0. And the commentary isn't ahead of the game here. I just knew it was going in. It smelt like a goal. And it is. 3-0, Manchester United. <sighs> dear, oh dear. Well, at least it's not 8-2. As we make a desperation substitution, Willems on for Yuri Ribeiro, remembering what he did last time. And uh, Guerrero, I've had enough. He's coming off. And uh, I'm going to try something different here. Can't blame as an attacking midfielder. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's playing as a withdrawn support striker. See what happens. I'm just fucking around at this point. This game's beyond saving, so we're just going to mess around and see what we can do. Nothing whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, we are shit and we don't care. Hadji chasing the ball gamely. Nearly gets a foot on it, to be fair. Benkovic clearing. Willem should win this header. He does. Oh, Centurion. You do flatter to deceive. He blows hot and cold so badly. He's worse than my aircon. I don't have any air con, so that tells you how bad he is.
Arkas is not making the run that I expect him to and it's costing us so much because every time I've got, I've got the ball in a good position there and rather than making the run down the line he's just holding his position and he, it's a position where if I try passing to him as the fourth goal goes in um, it's just going to be intercepted he's not doing us any favours with his movement whatsoever I'm slightly more advanced Oh, I don't know what to do with defence anymore. I really don't. Let's drop it down a little bit. We're playing too high. Uh... <laughs> I, I'm at sixes and sevens. I really don't know what I'm doing anymore. I've, I've lost so much confidence. My ability to play this game. I. Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, come on! Worrell's got no legs left. Cavani thought it was a goal. Genuinely thought it was a goal. Can't believe I'm going to put this out on my channel. This is embarrassing. This is absolutely terrible. Samba out to Zifwik on the right-hand side. Aji. Ariata winds one up, takes a deflection. Can't even. I mean, at least we've had a shot, but Jesus Christ, it was nowhere near. And oh my God, every time you play a pass, who's the first man to the ball? Because it's certainly not one of my players. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, we knew that it wasn't going to be pretty. I didn't expect it to be this bad. If nothing else, you can't say that I don't show you the warts and all of this channel. I <laughs> As we give away a, a corner, I think. No, a goal kick. Well, fuck me sideways. Enna with a long one for Centurion underneath it. Just trying long ball at this stage. We turned into Bolton. We're not even as good as Bolton. Oh, flipping heck. 4-0. Oh, So easy. So, so easy.
Well, at least we're still seven points off the bottom. See you tomorrow.